Hello everyone, you're watching the Zach Gunkoff YouTube channel. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. So we're here at uh, Cranon International Off-Road Raceway getting ready for the uh, World Championship weekend. So lots of racing. They say there's over 400 uh, entered drivers. So one of the biggest, or the biggest event they've ever had here. They said it's bigger than the 50th anniversary. This is the 52nd now. Um, so along with the champ off-road, typical trucks, buggies, and UTVs, we now have uh, Class 11 bugs. There's 18 of them coming from California. And then uh, also all classes of older four running this weekend. So looking forward to watching that, uh, checking out their setups. And uh, yeah. So just got back from tech. They uh, looked over the truck again, made sure we're good to go. Uh, gave us a seal of approval here. And uh, now we're just waiting for practice. Going to take the back bed sides off. That way they don't get nicked up in practice. And then just uh, get suited up and go. got back from our Thursday practice here at uh, Crandon International Off-Road Raceway. Uh, they call it the big house. Um, definitely a big event going on, but practice went good. Our fixes on the truck, what going through the ignition and the fuel system, uh, seemed, to, seemed to get rid of our uh, Bark River Blues, you can say. So that was all good. Uh, as you can tell, the truck's really muddy. Um, they really heavily watered the track, and we were just running the short track. And we're running short track versus long track because for our Friday night race we're running in the dark so they only have lights for the short track area in front of the grandstands you don't get to go all the way down to Cowboy Corner and then come back into turn one so I was kind of bummed that we didn't get to practice that or I didn't get to practice it because um, never done that corner before but short track was fun uh, it was definitely not much space for full-size trucks and they really heavily watered it so um, trying to get on it over the jumps got a little hairy at times but but overall it was good now it's time to go and wash it for the parade gopro tear off
Friday night race, super stock truck. Had a lot of fun. I'm gonna try to talk over this generator running over here, so bear with me. But uh, that's what we got to work with. We also are using the golf cart lights to light up my face in the truck. So uh, shout out to our lighting crew on this video. So Friday night race starting started 20th out of 21 trucks. Uh, it was short tracks, so typically Brandon we do land rush start side by side. All of us rushing into one turn, turn one, and uh, then we go around the short track, but we'd also drive all the way down to Cowboy Corner and then come back. But for tonight, it was just short track. Uh, since it was under the lights, they, they only have lights set up for the short track. And uh, we did a rolling start versus a side-by-side -side rolling to start uh, versus that land rush. And so that was new going in because in practice we did a land rush. But uh, overall went good. Our gremlins on the truck crept back up. And uh, I really only had a power issue after you came back and you uh, looped back into turn one. I would go over the first small jump by the, uh, by the fans and then I'd shift to third and second and I'd lose a little bit of power. Truck would cut out just a little bit. And then I wouldn't really have too much of a problem after that. Just a little bit in the gravel pit, but uh, overall went pretty good. Uh, passed quite a bit of people. Uh, luckily, unlike practice, they held off on the water truck. So track was really great. We loaded up on Terra outside. Kaylee put a whole bunch on there, but ended up not having to really use too much or too many. So all that went good. I uh, had a lot of fun. Everyone enjoyed watching the race, and uh, we're looking forward to tomorrow. Going to get the truck ready, uh, and we're going to be on the long track. So. In five seconds, he'll throw the green flag, and we're underway. Get on your feet, super stock truck. Head towards Forest County, Pottawatomie, turn number one. Aaron Holiday way over there on the inside. Looks like he's got the speed here in the early going. A big stack up behind him. It's going to be Holiday with the hole shot. Wow, what a run by Aaron Holiday getting collected as Nick Fisser and Nick B Hey everyone, I got into editing this part of the video and realized, hold up, we need to press pause. Uh, I want to tell you guys a quick story since there's a story to be told here. And I want to go through two points. So number one, what am I, um, what's my strategy as I'm lined up and getting ready to go uh, take the green flag at the land rush. And then uh, as I get into turn one, um, what was going through my mind as I was in the truck? So starting off, I was towards the back of the pack. So that puts me second row to the outside. Um, and at, I watch a lot of film just as you would any sport. Um, this one's no different. People watch a lot of film just to see where driving lines are and stuff. But for the start of the race, I wanted to find out where does starting position put you as you go into a turn. Most people looked like they would just take their line, drive straight. Um, some people do cross over, which is pretty risky because trucks can get into you very quickly and the lane rush is uneven with uh, roller jumps and things like that. So I wanted to hold my line and then I also watched film because I wanted to see how do the crashes develop and how do the pileups develop. So a lot of people will try to hold that inside line and hug the wall and they'll either clip, they'll clip it or get into it and some people come up on the bike and roll over and that's how that'll happen or, or people will just get spun around and that's what happened in this instance. And uh, I felt like with being lined up on the outside, I wanted to take my chances on the outside because if a wreck happened on my inside, hopefully it wouldn't get into me. But as you guys could tell, um, got going, felt good through the land rush. And as I got to the dirt, felt good for a split second, only a split second because of my inside, uh, through the corner of my eye, I could see trucks starting to get into each other. Um, trucks got spun around and that was on the inside the momentum took them out to me where I was in the outside and I got slammed into the K rail, so the concrete barrier, the wall uh, for turn one and scraped that all the way down the truck. And then also you could see in the footage, it looks like I spun a truck out, but that's not, not the case. Uh, that truck got spun out and then momentum took them right in front of me. I was the wrong place at the wrong time. Thanks for uh, watching through this little pause so I can explain what actually happened in turn one.
just got back from the Saturday race on the log track, super stock truck, here at Grand International Off-Road Raceway. Today we did the land rush start, so lined up in two rows. There was, I'm not sure the count on trucks, 20 or 21, and uh, started probably 19th, and uh, I think it's where I was lined up at on the second row on the outside. So, uh, as you can see, the, if you watch the live stream, uh, didn't finish, but uh, if you move around, you can see I made it a couple laps around. Was feeling decent, um, still battling through uh, some of our gremlins from yesterday. Thought we've been fighting this last half of the season and then with the engine. And so I made it a couple laps after getting put into the wall. And then I went over the jump by the start line uh, so you go through turn one, and then you have a small jump and then a bigger jump. And now when I landed on the big jump, I don't know if I didn't have my wheels quite straight or what, but it popped this power steering hose off uh, from the back of the pump. And then I just had no steering, and the felt, front end fell out of whack from being in the wall. And uh, I just couldn't run around. I started smoking because the power steering fluid on the headers uh, could catch fire. So I didn't know that's what happened at the time, and I wheeled it around as best I could, got into Andrew in the hot pits, and he and another guy pulled the hood off, took a look, and, and realized that I was pretty much done for the day. So I pulled off and uh, got another DNF, but uh, first lane rush at Grandin was, was definitely everything I hoped it wouldn't be, so uh, hopefully next year that goes a lot smoother.